Hey Randy's, Stan here. And I've been waiting for a while now to talk to you guys about Wave 4 Amiibos, but there's only been one problem. Pre-orders haven't even gone up yet. Now, at first I wasn't going to make a video on the Super Mario lineup of Amiibo, but then something so crazy, so insane, so unbelievable happened that I- Yep, they dipped them in gold. Now, many of you may have no interest whatsoever in these Mario Party 10 accessories. However, the unfortunate truth is that this one shiny amiibo is going to change the very landscape of how Nintendo sells their figurines. And that may even include the future Smash Waves. Mewtwo, I'm looking at you. So stop at 5 for Wave 4 and listen up, because like Michael Phelps, I'm about to go for the gold. Amiibo. Yeah, that didn't work at all. Roll the intro. Like me, you were probably a little shocked during the Direct when Nintendo revealed a whole new set of Amiibo figures for Mario Party 10. I mean, we've already seen Amiibo for every single character except for Toad, and Bowser is pretty much the same, right down to the pose. So why did we need doubles of some of the most popular characters? Well, besides the need for a proper standing Luigi figure, it's Mario, so of course this was going to happen eventually. A little early? Heck yeah. But if you're like me, you can't wait for Mario Party 10 this spring, so Let's give these things a chance, please. So, who do we have for the SMB lineup so far? Because yes, it's already confirmed that a few more characters will be coming in a wave two for this game. Well, we have Mario, of course, although so far he's actually only been packaged with a special Mario Party 10 bundle. And don't worry, I'm saving old Goldilocks for the end. Along with version two of the Red Plumber, we have his younger bro Luigi, along with Peach, Yoshi, Bowser, and newcomer Toad. So far, all of these characters have been pretty obtainable in terms of pre-order, with Toad being the only one to sell out very quickly on all major sites due to his originality. This lends credibility to the artificial demand theory, and as such, Toad will likely be around Diddy to Captain Falcon levels of rarity, although, depending on Nintendo, he could become even rarer. So, that leaves two special chromatic colored figurines left. First up, we have Gold Mario, who, oddly enough, actually has a special Gold Amiibo Edition picture displayed proudly on his box art. So what does that mean? Well, firstly, the Golden Mario will be available exclusively at Walmart on March 20th, with the other Mario Party 10 Amiibo. At this point, all pre-orders are sold out, however, Nintendo of America actually released a small statement on their social media accounts saying that there should be large numbers at the physical location on release day. Does this mean it's limited edition, or simply a cool recoloring? Well, I personally believe that you should expect a very similar situation to Rosalina and Luma, in which a retailer gets a lot of the figures on day one, but after that, very little to no shipments are delivered in store as Nintendo runs out of their supply. However, unlike Rosalina, the Gold Amiibo Edition seal on the box art makes me believe that this Amiibo will only have one manufacturing cycle. Remember, the Holy Trinity and rares like Shulk and Little Mac weren't made with the intention of withholding supply to drive up demand, but these golden amiibos will be. There's going to be a ton of them out there, don't get me wrong, but unlike Marth who's getting a reprint next month, once these guys are gone, that's it. No whining or petition or bad press is going to change that because it says edition right on the box. So if you want one and didn't get a pre-order, try to be at your local Walmart on March 20th before it's too late. As for Mario's Silver Edition recoloring, no real information has been revealed, but it's been rumored to be the same situation as our Golden Goose, except at GameStop. My money, however, is actually on Amazon, as they're the last major retailer without an exclusive. And make no mistake, Silver Mario may actually end up being even rarer than Gold Member over here. So be vigilant, my fellow hunters, and everything should have a silver lining. Well, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more Amiibo facts and theories as we'll be tackling Wave 4 as soon as pre-orders are made available. And trust me, you're going to want to know how to find that inevitable diamond mess. Also make sure you follow us on Twitter, at Random10s, for more Amiibo news, updates on our channel, and just whatever you want to talk about. Except for Nicolas Cage, because that would be weird. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting.